Transform creating transects. Users can generate transects to view seismic and well logs within Transform from the base map. The following workflows will walk you through generating different types of transects available. Well log transect options include well to well or projected transects. Seismic transect options allow to view in both 3D scene or vertical seismic view, also known as a VSV. Users can differentiate between the types of transects, transects by the icon in the data tree plus the tool in the top left of the base map used to generate each. The data tree view, you can see the projected transects to view well logs, that's the icon and the base map tool, well to well transects to view well logs, that's that icon and base map tool, and seismic transects, which is used to view seismic, and you can see that icon and the tool. Transform creating well to well transects. A well-to-well -well transect and transform can be used to, to view well logs. To create a transect, users need to add a well list to the base map that contains the wells with logs to launch in a cross-section or correlation view. Engage the well-to-well -well transect mode in the upper left of the base map, and then left-click on the wells to add a transect. Left-clicking on the, le the wells allows you to begin the well-to-well -well transect, and then double-click to complete. Give the transect a name and click OK. Notice the transects layer has been added to the base map. This allows users to turn on and off transects and also recolor them. Click close when complete. The well-to-well -well transect can be found in the data tree under transect traverses, transects well-to-well. -well. Left click to select the transect and right click on the transect to edit the transect or launch in a cross section. If users desire to edit, the transect will highlight red while in edit mode and users can add and delete points. Double click when complete. Transform creating projected transects. A projected transect and transform can be used to, to view well logs. To create a transect, users need to add a well list to the base map that contains the wells with logs to launch in a cross section or correlation view. Engage the projected transect mode in the upper left of the base map and left click to draw the transect on the base map. Check the box in the projected transect dialog to pull logs into the transect and change the search radius from the line as necessary. Move the transect with, a pink, with the pink dot and then make a new data point with the teal dot while the transect is in edit mode. Double click to save. Give the transect a name and click OK. Notice the transects layer has been added to the base map. Right click to access the style menu. This allows users to turn on and off transects and also recolor them. The projected transect can be found in the data tree under the transects traverses, transect projected. Right click allows other options such as renaming or deleting a projected transect. Left click select and right click on the transect to edit the transect or launch into a cross section. If users desire to edit, the transect will highlight red while in edit mode and can add and delete points plus increase and decrease the search radius. Again, double click when complete. Transform viewing 3D seismic. To view 3D seismic and transform, first add the seismic bin grid of the desired 3D to the base map. This can be achieved two ways. First, drag and drop from the data tree or click the blue plus and add the seismic bin grid layer to the base map. Right click to access the style menu for the seismic bin grids in the project. There's a video help for adding and styling seismic bin grids. Next, click the seismic create seismic transect mode tool. This tool will allow users to create a transect to view the 3D seismic. Notice instructions appear in the upper right. Left click drag once the red line appears to engage a cross line. Double click outside of the seismic bin grid to save. Give the transect a name and color and click OK. Let's do the same method for the inline. A left click drag, double click outside of the seismic, give it a name, a color, and we'll click OK. Then for an arb line, it's slightly different that you left click, you'll see those yellow points appear in the bin grid, but double click outside, Give it a name, and you can also change the color as well. That'll generate an arb line. Once the transects are generated, notice a transects layer has populated the base map. Users can also access the transects via the data tree. Remember, right click to access the style menu to man, and then also from the data tree, you can manage and delete your transects.
You can right click, manage, and delete if necessary. To launch a vertical section view or VSV to view the 3D seismic, left click to select the desired transect and right click launch vertical section view. Choose the seismic volume to load, click the blue arrow, push it down, and then click OK. Give the VSV a name. Users can have multiple VSVs open as long as each have a unique name. Once the VSV is open, there's a layer manager just like the base map on the left. The seismic is going to be on the right, and you can right click on the seismic for more options like accessing the style menu. In the style dialog, in the trace property style dialog, click the drop down to show traces as well. Change the color and fill of the traces that are shown. Within the Color Properties tab, change the color bar and access custom and save color maps for seismic display. Also set the range to display and color bar symmetric about zero with the checkbox check box at the bottom. Access the additional tabs for more options, noting at the bottom of each, users can save selections as preferred so VSVs display open with the desired, desired style. Click Close when complete. This location toolbar at the top allows to set the scrolling increment with a slider bar or changing the number. And remember that Control shift m accesses the mouse controls. You can right-click in the seismic to access other options, like launch a new vertical seismic view, and you can kind of choose if you'd like it to be an inline or a cross line, or maybe just a clone of the one that you already have open. If you'd like to page through your seismic, use the hotkeys page up and page down to move the seismic. And then if you want to close your VSV, just click the X at the top of the VSV tab when you're done.